EP's mobile coverage is brought to you by Gameloft, makers of Dungeon Hunter 5, which you can play for free on iOS and Android right now. After the good time I was having with Marvel Future Fight, a free-to-play action RPG, I thought it'd be cool to check out another one. This one's called Marvel Mighty Heroes. This is a super deformed version of the Marvel characters, which I like. I like the art style. Everything looks super cute. And you get a whole complement, a whole suite of different characters at your disposal. You have to earn them. You have to buy them. You have to unlock them. You know the drill. You pick up the crystals, and you have the in-game currencies, and you spend the dough to get the characters, and you can level them up, and you can trade some for other ones. You go into these multiplayer type of combat scenarios and everything seems like it's coming together nicely until you get into the actual game of this game. They forgot the game. There's no game. It's really terrible. All of the controls are really god awful. You just tap on the screen and you get an approximation of walking a character up to an enemy and they get into some sort of combat situation, but it never feels satisfying. There's a bunch of special powers that each of the characters can have and they're all sort of area effect, like the Hulk will slam down and create this earthquake type maneuver and all the bad guys will fall, all the turrets will fall. It just never connects, it never feels finished, and you constantly get this engagement from the game asking you to spend more money to unlock more cool stuff, but it's not fun. It, they forgot the fun in this thing, so it's a dismal failure, particularly on the tale of the infinitely superior Marvel Future Fight, which I recommend you play instead of this piece of crap. I'm gonna give Marvel Mighty Heroes a three out of 10.